All right, boys. Hype! Gonna hit that star campaign button. Let's go. This reminds me of uh, Journey. You know I never played Journey? I really wish I did. I feel like I should play Journey on stream. Apparently, like, you, you randomly get a second person to play with you, is what I heard on Journey. I would love to play Journey, because it, it is what it is, right? It's a journey. It's like an experience. Alright. Did we just start? Yes. If you just made it, you are here from the beginning. Alright, boys. I think I have to press a button, so I'm going to left click here. I'm an owl. Oh, the music's pumping. Wait, 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 wait. I want you guys to hear that. Hold up. I'm gonna turn- I'm gonna turn the music way up. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. Now as you lie yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in a strange attire. What do I press? Oh, downside, a vast purgatory into which the commonwealth casts its convicts and its enemies. None have known to return from the forsaken land. So the downside is sort of like jail, but it's like an open field. Okay, that's kind of cool. Italians. Masked woman. Hmm, another piece of filth expelled from the commonwealth. See, si, right on schedule. What did I tell you? You told us we'd find someone alive! Someday, I said we'd find somebody alive someday, just not today, I guess, but don't be glum! You know, I see you frowning underneath that mask. Looks like he's breathing. Dude, this guy looks awesome! Holy shit! Wow, this game's got a lot of personality right off the bat. You guys can hear that just fine? I hope you guys can. I, I don't think I have many options to turn it up any louder. It seems he still is. Then stand aside, I shall send him to a better place. Wait, they're gonna kill me? What the fuck? He's a he? Can you people just tell? Hang on, the markings on his rag. I think he's one of them. But look at him, he's beyond our help. We are beyond his. Broken, shaking, starving, probably diseased. Yeah, good luck with that there, chum. See you back at the wagon. Indeed, the days grow grim. You have best an hour. Understood. I won't be long. After the others leave, the man turns towards you and begins unfastening his mask. Hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did. None of- Dude, this guy's hot! Holy shit, this guy can save me any fucking day. I am Kappa Pride. Oh, Jesus, dude. Which movie star does that look like? I'm thinking of someone in specific- No, I'm thinking of- You know what I'm thinking of? Fucking, what's his name? The guy who- The real famous guy who, uh... Who played, uh... Tyler Durden from Fight Club. What's his name? <laughs> Jesus! Hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us are... All of us were equal nothings here. Wait, did these guys get cursed as well? You are parched and he gives you a drink. <laughs> Brad Pitt, that's the one. You are parched. He's, he's a less blonde Brad Pitt. Uh, you are parched and he gives you drink. He gives you drink? I guess you can say that sentence. You ache, and he he binds your wounds. You hunger, and he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. Wow. There, it turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. Now, come on. He's one of the three masked wanderers. Oh, this is nice. In case I fucking forget something, they'll tell me. That's pretty useful. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Wow, I'm really digging the music, though. Yeah, it's pumping! You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you back to an old wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that paraded Commonwealth criminals through Alabaster streets. Hedwin beckons you to enter the wagon. Ooh, I don't trust this guy. <laughs> Let's go inside. Whoa, this looks sick! Oh man, the way the fucking little scroll even like, like feathers in with the fire is so pretty. I want to click things. Let me click. The weather-beaten wagon is as much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient-looking books. I'm back. And with a guest! She loosens the clasp on her mask. Oh, is she hot too? Yo. Yo. We might be in, boys. Here we go. I'm terrified. <laughs> Why does she have horns? I don't know if I'm into goats, dude. You may call me Jotoriel. 
J Jodorile? We need a way better name for this. <laughs> we need a be we need a way better name than this. Uh, does someone have does someone have a suggestion? <laughs> what can we name this chick? I'm thinking Jody. Joe Dariel? That's her name? Is it Joe Dariel? Joda? Becky. Jodi. Jody? Jody. Okay, Jody's good. Let's stick to Jody. And as for myself, who <laughs> I'm wondering what this little guy's gonna be. Is that a talent? Is he, is he a bird? Here we go. Small one struggles with his mask. Jody assists him. Ah! Why the fuck is there a dog in my fucking wagon? Holy shit, it's a pupper. That is to say, you may regard me by the name Rookie. Oh no, you're pupper. <laughs> this guy, this guy's pupper from now. <laughs> We're calling this guy pupper. He's the smallest yet loudest of the three masks. Oh, he's got a bit of wolf in him. Such pleasantries out the way. The horned woman then mentions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. Can he do it? Hope so. I haven't asked him yet. Oh shit! What are we doing? Yo, these guys are setting us up. What? Then what are we waiting for? Yo, this guy's got like a gold fang. That's pretty cool. Hey, a chum. Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. You know how to read or what? Hey. Hey. How fucking dare you? You're a fucking dog. <laughs> this guy. This guy's calling me out. He is asking you if you're a reader, one who can derive meaning. Oh, okay, game. All right, just had to clarify that for me. Literacy has been pro. Oh, it's been prohibited. Okay, that makes it a bit more sense. <laughs> Feel like I'm giving the pupper a rough time. Um, okay. So apparently, reading's banned. Uh, he asks you if you're a reader. Over time, you manage to learn something of the old ways. Literacy is a serious crime. No one in his right mind would dare violate the law. I'm a fucking criminal. Who or what you did to earn your sentence is no one's business but your own. I'll fucking tell him. You confirm their suspicions. There's no use trying to hide it now. Well then, glory days, because it just so happens my associates and I... We, can, can I give him like a... like a, what a... You know how like with Tourette's, like some people have random outbursts? Can we give him like an uncontrollable bark? <laughs> like every time... Well then, glory days, because of... Just so happens my associates and I... <laughs> Just, just, just throw in a growl, just somewhere in there. Supergiant Games have released all the soundtracks from the game to their YouTube. Dope! I'm, I'm excited. Just so happens my associates and I, we got ourselves some nice material here for someone just like you. What, books? <laughs> Here's the Bible, F-word, go educate yourself. <laughs> and then they throw me out the fucking wagon again. <laughs> Reader, you still live thanks to us. We ask for something modest in exchange. Open one of these books back there and tell us what it says. Oh, they want me to read for them? Can we make up shit? You know, whenever I had to read Harry Potter, look, my, my sister, you, my sisters used to read Harry Potter books to them back and forth. They take turns reading chapters to each other. And whenever they handed me the book, I would always make up shit till they called me out on it. Every scene had Harry kissing the nearest girl in the room. It made them gasp. I felt like a hero or something. More of a liar, but some, less of a hero. Sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. The exiles indicate the books in their possession. Have a look. Ooh, I can touch things. Intricate sigil. A symbol of some sort is set in the, wood, in the wagon's floorboards. Beyond lies the boundless downside. Even if you could run, you would not get far. The fuck are those? Yo, I see you. Old raiments. Raiments? Colorful robes and ceremonial masks adorn one of the wagon walls. Closed door. It's rusted. Odd creatures. Are these bats in little pajamas? That's adorable. There's nothing you can do for them now. Cool. I think, I think that's everything. Oh, there's a ladder. Leads to the wagon's centrifuge. Guarded by the creatures? Okay. Let's open the book. You pick up one of the old and heavy volumes, bounded materials you do not recognize. Whoa, that was cool. I love the 3D. Uh, a formal welcome undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, such as we, the eight who wrote this book of rights, that you possess it... 
That you possess it and have capacity to clean its words is testament enough to your potential. Thus we reveal a path from this forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming and glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide. What's that say? Air the turning? Is that E-R-E? -E? No, what is that? It's a capital letter, right? What is that? Ear? Ear? Air? Air the turning of the year's first solstice. Seek the nearest long longitude beneath the brightest of eight as the line is shown. Arrive at triumurate, clad in the rhymes of the rites, bearing this book. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Do I have to do math? Oh, I suck at puzzles, dude. Forward, brief instructions on when, where, and how to commence the rites. Oh, well, that's cool. I can run my mouse over it and it, like, lights up words. So wait. The stars themselves shall be your guide. The ne Seek... Ere the turning of the year's first solstice, seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of the eight, as they align as shown. Will these change over time? Inspect for a clearer look at this text. Oh! That's... Well, that's a lot less fun, <laughs> but a lot easier. I feel like I lied to them about being literate. <laughs> right. The book describes a complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. Wait, return to the... Commonwealth, a proud co Wait, what's the place that we're in called? A proud country risen from the ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups, founded on principles of mercy and kinship, whose exact meanings evolved through many centuries. These words swim through your mind as Hedwin gets your attention. Well, friend, what does it say? Ooh, dude, I'm, I'm fucking immersed as fuck. But then your visions start to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. Oh no. Oh. Downside? Okay. Rita, dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? These guys sound a so lot less cool than I thought after they were. your sentence into exile. Tis true what the book says. You can be free again. Perhaps not you yourself, but someone worthy of the privilege. You witness now the path toward salvation. You witness the rights, the one way to return to glory. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. Yet, by the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. Oh, look at the little dog! <laughs> He's so small! <laughs> I didn't think he was that tiny. Also, is this- is that Hedwin at the front? Because if that's the chick, she is fucking built, dude. Holy shit. It worked. So it is true. Yeah, but what now? And where'd the reader go? He should be out there still. For now, we have to put our faith in him. Oh, dude, this is dope. The way the music picked up? He could abandon us. He won't. You look upon the three of them beyond as Hedwin then calls out to you. Reader, we aim to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die in the downside. And now I swear to you, when we get out of here, we're going to come with us. But first, we need your help. Show us the way. Freedom, you focus all your mental facilities to do as Hedwin asked. Celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. Use left click to approach the celestial orb. <laughs> Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. Press space to pass the orb. Hold space to pass to root. To, to Pumper. I was like, who's Rookie? Must act as one. Only one exile can move at a time. Hold shift to sprint. Your exile's abilities are shown here. Space, shift, W. 
Woohoo! Holy shit, this thing's got some fucking splide to it. Sprint until stamina is depleted? Woo. Now plunge into the fire with the orb and be purified. Are they asking me to walk into the fire? That sounds dangerous as fuck. Yes. Ah. The exile rookie has the way of it. Whoever steps into the flame is banished. Rookie is banished for now. His or her. His oh, or her crow hosts must do it so on their own. So In simple. the rights, you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Beware yeah. the aura that surrounds them, as they shall beware yours. Use space to approach the adversary. The aura is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. Cast your aura like a stone. Hold right click to banish adversary from afar. Correctly done. Banish Again. the remaining adversary. Just so. A glorious performance, I admit. More than they I reset. expected from the last. Once of banished you. by auras, exiles soon return. Grasp so they're the only taken out of the game more. for a while. Grasp the orb. The yep. orb absorbs the aura. Then the orb quenches the flame. You lose your aura when you have the orb. Okay, so how do we get through without dying? Now I say Press W jump. to leap into adversary's leap fire. With all your strength. What the fuck? Wait, what? Not quite. What? Press W to leap into the adversary's pile? Thus sails the orb into the waving flame. Uh, I think W makes you like temporary, like temporarily avoid the aura. Now Rookie is returned. Out the adversary's pyre whilst yours yet burns. <laughs> Rookie doubts to the adversary's flames. Is that what I'm Try jumping with W. Seize the orb. Oh shit. So she's got like a bit of a dash. Oh, I almost stunk it. Oh. Well, I can I can fling the ball. That's kind of cool. Oh. Okay. So you can like. Okay. Was the last of them. <laughs> Joe Dario doused the adversary's flames. Try banishing adversaries with right click. What's the cooldown on this? It feels like I can just spam it. Why, that Is that right? All of them. <laughs> well, now that Ooh. was exciting. Oh shit, oh shit! The no! Quenches the flame. Uh... Try sprinting with shift. So am I meant to... I can pat... Oh, I should be passing it around and stuff. Didn't even consider, like, being able to do that. The right is complete. There, okay. dear reader. Now you understand. It's like NBA Jam, it's or weird. Do you? This was but a glimpse of that which lies ahead. I would tell you to turn back, cast down your hope, but all those such as you, you never listen. Huh. That was pretty cool. It's like some demon basketball, yeah. I didn't expect that at all. The others are still picking themselves up as you awaken. Hey, Popper. That was something. That was our way out. So now we just follow the stars or what? Supposedly. Reader, come let us regard the night. Jody leads you outside where a clear night sky awaits. <laughs> nice, some alone time with Jody boys. 
I don't want to fuck you. I'm sorry. I'm terrified of you. <laughs> You're like four times my size, and also those horns are a bit weird. Now show us before the howlers catch our scent. Where shall the rites commence? Uh, you gaze at the stars. Seek out your destination. Capriast, the olden star, a star of the moon stag hunter. Those born under it are ambitious, though also discontented. So I guess this is like our hub world. Gull, the South Star. The South Star burns bright over a massive ridge of stone, much farther than the naked eye can see. Two hundred leagues due east, the ridge of Gull. According to the stars, the next ride shall soon commence here. The fossil remains of the serpent titan slain by Gull. Golathanian, Gol yet loom over those living in its shadow. Concilia. Great, and we're supposed to be there when exactly? Very soon, according to the stars. You should be able to arrive in time if you make haste. <laughs> then we had best get started. <laughs> well, this ought to be good for a few laughs at least. What do you say, Jody? Jody turns to you, studying you. Reader, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. This, she, she's got every right to be skeptical as fuck. What she means is glad to have you aboard, chum! Thanks, pupper! We're counting on you, my friend. See you inside. Freedom, the rights are the key. It is a lot to take in. Your fellow exiles await you in the wagon. Achievement! The reader. Where's the North Star? At least the pupper's nice, yeah. Oh, that's a kind of a cool way to, like, transition. Downside Prairie. You arrive in the Downside Prairie, where the road ahead is forked. There's a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. I'm telling you how to take the Northern Pass. Get an associate holed up in Hollow Root. I've got to pay a visit to besides. Uh, the Northern Route to the Ridge of Gold goes through a small exile encampment. Every so often, tempests come and scour away the huts and hovels, but they always crop back up. Fie on your associate. Best we had head to Blooming Pole and avoid attention. The southern route to Ridge of Gold goes through a humid area pocked with hot springs. Run off from the sand folds mean no bathing in the springs, so they're just there to mock yeah, you <laughs> and get stuck in the bog while we're at it. The dispute continues as Hedwin listens for a while. Test. What if the reader settles this? He marks the way we get us there. If these rites are meant to test our faith, then we'd best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second guessing them along the way. Can we all live with that for now? Yeah, I'll sure. Pass. If necessary. <laughs> then it's settled. Just point the way, my friend. The stars guide us through you. Well, now you may choose a route. Weigh the options. Ooh, okay, cool. So we can go through the springs while well, we'll be teased. Or we can go through the exile encampment. Jody thinks she can find rare flora here. And the pupper knows someone here who owes him. I kind of want to earn the chick's trust. But the pupper also, like, oh, what if he's like, what if the dog's like a really good boy and the guy owes him like a, like a pet? Like, what if, what if the pupper's just setting us up? What if he just wants pets? I don't trust him. I don't trust dogs, man. They're not that smart. He is a good boy. <laughs> Jody offers you to show around Blooming Pool after she notices you staring at the bogs and vegetations near the wagon. Soon something catches her Soon eye. Enough. Observe, this shall pay for half our trip. Ooh. You found a black bloom. It's quite valuable. This can be sold at the slug market. Blossoms at specific times, which bitter at first. A taste of the black bloom makes the pain go away. The black wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the Ridge of Gold. The others ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall and the commencement of the right. Commence the right. Oh, this is this is another boss fight? Page revealed the first exile. Okay, let's let's go into our wagon and read the thing that came up. Oh, well, this is kinda nice. So what's in the book? The first exile, in the words of Gol Galthanian, the Master General. 
You know, perhaps the thrice cursed name of Solium Mur, the Emperor of Sar, the first exile in my liege. This chapter concerns him and those who found him in the downside. Each of us was sent to take his life, such was the hatred for him and in in and around his century in his country. Yet we found in Solum Mur and man transformed in body, mind, and spirit, a man deserving of much more than mercy. In time, he named us all his scribes, and he became the eighth. It is my greatest honor now to share you with his deeds. To know his story is to know the rights. Cool, I guess this is him. Greentail family portrait. A reasonable likeliness of the younger pupper with his mother and uncle. Aww, they're, they're, a, they're a pupper family. Uh, these have been bred to push the black wagon along. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. You observe the ladder. The wagon centrifuge must be up there. Its drive imps stare down at you with big wet eyes. Are they sad? Now I feel bad. You observe the masks and robes whose old engravings and embroidery suggest a formal purpose. Some of the garments are massive, while the others are so small they might fit a pupper. I think is what they were hinting at. Cooking. What passes for cooking supplies on the downside? Hedwin does most of the cooking. Well, I imagine he doesn't have much time to cook in between being the star on Fight Club. Reader, Greentail here was just complaining about how you opted to not take us up to Hollowroot. Oh, was that the the person he had a connection with? What? And violate our anti-second guessing pact? No, I was only saying how our chum's gonna have to keep on making the tough calls. Besides, just making sure we got something to pawn off the next slug market we find. And we have. Now let us focus on the task at hand. We have reached our destination and have much left to prepare before tonight. The two of them soon go about rummaging through the raiments and the books strewn about the wagon, leaving you to your own devices. Uh, I think we upset the dog. He'll get over it. Alright, let's commence the rite. As darkness falls, your fellow exiles stand together, clad in the raiments of the rites. The preparations are set, however, everything is still and calm, soon they grow restless. Keep telling you there's nothing here! What a bunch of idiots we are! We traveled all this way for nothing. I don't think we did. Look up. That's the shittiest star I've ever seen. The goal of each right is to extinguish the adversary's pyre. Yeah, yeah. So, you gotta like grab the ball and pass it around. The stars align at last. You reach the Ridge of Gaul at the appointed time, and your triumvirate is ready. Your adversaries in the rites this eve shall be the accusers. Whosever pyre yet burns once the other is extinguished shall step closer. So are these to other freedom. people coming to like now fight for their let the rights? I think that's what it is. They're trying to fight for their own escape. So someone, we we have to go for the pyre like sh straight away. Stars are aligned and your pyre burns bright. Across from your camp companions appear several others also clad in raiments. Your adversaries in the rights. Everyone ready? Ooh, ooh, ooh! I'm feeling good. Good luck, hell yeah! If the enemy throws the ball, you can catch it by jumping. Oh, let's hope so. Be still. We have a visitor. The one whom she refers to steps forward. At last, the Nightwings grace us with their presence. The name of the Triumvirate in blue. Oh, so they're part... Okay, so these guys are well known. I see that reports of your demise has been exaggerated after all. Even I was beginning to think you were gone for good. Nobody moves, save for the man robed in gold who unfastens his mask. Surprised to see old Lendl again? He's the apparent leader of the Exile Triumvirate you encountered at the Ridge of Gold. I trust you remember my face, though you must have assumed never see it again after last time. Never had I come so close to freedom, only for you to dash my hopes. So how else do they get freedom? What does he mean he was close to it? Now I and the accusers shall repay that affront. He shoves his mask back on and takes position with his comrade. It is time. From the shadows you clutch the Book of Rights and focus on the task of hand. I like how the dog has to carry the rights on its back. Alright, let's go. Begin! The power of the aura! 
in. It's taken. No. Oh shit. Oh, I dodged it, boys. Oh. Back up. Oh no, I didn't have my jump up. What's the hotkey for jump? I forgot. Is it space? No, it's W. Oh, I didn't even use that. No! Where's the ball? Is that it? Who has the ball? Oh shit, I thought he had the ball. Well, we didn't. Fuck, 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 fuck. Let me spawn! You piece of shit. Got you. No, don't worry, dude. Not even close. Oh. Get it in! Yeah! How does right clicking work? Is it just a cooldown? I think it's just a cooldown. Should not accept defeat from you again. Hear me, accuser. Stand your ground, let your auras boil and rage. It seems that you have flustered the accusers. We're getting there, but they've hunkered down. Then we'll just have to run more circles around them. Hold right click to fling the orb into the pyre? You can do that? You can fling the orb in? What the fuck? That's not far enough. A daring what the fuck? display. That's kinda that's kinda cheating, Leaning isn't it? The orb into the flames like that. You elude banishment using such tricks. <laughs> Poor Edwin. Oh. Rookie plunged into their fire. You don't lose the character if you throw the ball in. Oh no. Ooh. I want the dog back. Oh. We traded one for one. Oh, if I can get this nerd? Oh, that's easy. That's easy. And then no! Oh. Left unscathed. oh shit. Wait, our dog's dead for good? How does that work? Oh shit. I gotta be careful. If I lose this guy now. Poof goes lentil. It is done. Do we win? You have prevailed. Hey, Rejoice we did it. In your single fleeting victory. Huh. Guron Salashe. Your deceit may have earned you a hollow victory, but know this. The accusers will not forget your wickedness, and when we next meet you, you will rue the day. Bask oh. now in the wisdom of the scribes. The Can I upgrade my characters here or something? Gained... They have withstood worse nights than this, though few are strange. The enlightened can regain their freedom. Choose a mastery for Jody. Long stride. After using her rush, she can rush again right away. <laughs> this just doubles the range of my rush. After banishing an adversary, Jody instantly recovers all her stamina. Ooh, that could be pretty good, because like... If you dash into someone, you can immediately keep dashing into them. I don't like having to, like, I don't know. I might go for this one. I think this one's cool. What are these? Sins of Fallen enhance a demon strength, demon spirit. What do these go into? When landing from a jump, she briefly stuns, making them drop the orb. For 7 seconds after saluting her adversaries, Jody gains an additional 10 fire to the adversary's pyre. Ooh. 
Jody permanently gains plus four presence, raising the size of her aura. Oh, that sounds good. Start of a ride, Jody's pyre automatically gains plus thirty-five. The demon scribe bestows his favor. And now the dog. Oh no, I don't think I get to. I don't think I get to do anything more. After the rites, the Yakuza disappear into the darkness. As you return to the wagon in the still night sky, you see a single star burn brighter than the rest, beckoning you onward. Okay. Ben Hancock, hello. Look at the end skills. Oh yeah, I forgot to. I was just thinking like... One looked safer. What can I say? The rites are real and we're in. Just getting out of here, club. Next up on the agenda, keep chasing stars until we're free. Until we are free. Until we're free. Here, here. Sounds fine. Might as well be us instead of Lendl back there. Anyway, guess we better start packing. As the others go about their big business, Hedwin turns to you. Reader, come walk with me while the stars are still out. That's beautiful. You and Hedwin walk in silence for a time before he speaks up. You have questions? Come, ask away. We need you on this for the long haul. Edwin wishes to know if there's anything troubling you. Why he was exiled, how he got this wagon. It belonged to a group called the Nightwings. Everyone has their reasons. You led. Ask why you cannot conduct the rites yourself. You led your fellow exile. Oh, these guys sort of. I mean, I can. I, I think I can piece together why. They picked us up. They're giving us this opportunity. It's their wagon. Ask what happens if you refuse to help. You're beginning to get the impression that your participation is not optional. That's just a dickbag move. Don't be a dumbass. Uh, let's get to know why he was exiled. You ask him what he got, what he did to get sentenced. He maintains eye contact and his smile. Good question. We're going to have a lot of time to discuss that. And what the, the why the fuck would I? You 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 said hey dude, hey dude. You got any questions? And then I ha- yeah, I'm like, yeah, I do! And you're like, <laughs> buddy, there's gonna be a lot of time for questions- questions at the end. <laughs> Make you a deal. Read the stars first again, and I'll tell you all about it on the way. Oh man, these guys are hard asses, dude. Alex, what's good? He says he speaks truly as he beckons towards the fading dark above. You gaze at the stars. Seek out your destination. Wait, that's that star done already? Holy shit, we're like 20% done with the game! So we're at this one. Jomer, the Dusk Star. The Dusk Star burns bright over an ancient spring in Jomer Valley. Scorpion! With a rock on it. That's a long way north and west. We'll see if this old wagon's fit for it. Then he turns to the others. How's it going, pupper? Imps fed, wheels clean, status Jody? No sign of howlers. Everything is secure. Good. Then get some rest. We're headed to the Spring of Jomer. At dawn, we're off. Is there anything in the wagon? What's in our bunch of rights? Nothing. What's she got to say? You sense Jody's steel gaze wall well before you return to her. Reading, reader, rummaging about the wagon once again. Tell me something now that you're here. Look at me. Are you afraid of me? No! No! Babe, you? No! You consider the question, you have never met before- You have never before met someone like her, but do know something of what happens to those who remains in the downside for many years. <sighs> Admit she can be a bit intense, deny feeling that way. Say nothing. You're very much aware that she could snap you like a twig at any point. I feel like she knows she's intense. And I think she wants to like, be like, I knew you thought I was, don't worry, you got nothing to worry about. If we lie about it, then she's gonna be like, dude, this guy's up to something. Like, why doesn't he fear me? So I'm gonna say she can be a bit intense. Tell her in a careful way that you have done your best thus far to not cross paths with her and you wish to stay in her good graces. Indeed, it is comforting to know that my- Yay! See? That was the right choice. One day, perhaps, you too shall grow some horns if you survive this place. That day shall put the fear you feel in some perspective. Now then, I shall go make my rounds. She walks away. You feel the floor of the wagon shake with her step. 
Jody lost minus one hope. What? Wait, I fucked up? What do you mean I fucked up? What? What did I do? Shit. Fuck. <laughs> what do you mean? No. No. <laughs> oh, no. What do you mean? I should have been confident? Fuck off. <laughs> Get on the wagon, dude. Uh, you fucked up, Cell. You'll be nice. Yeah, I'd say you felt comforted around her. Well, that's a fucking lie, dude. The climate here in Jomer Valley is hot and uncomfortable. Top of that... Exiled curs roam this sand sweat fossil wasteland. Among the eight scribes, the Alpha Chief, Jomer, many main, took a special liking Welcome to this region. We have a stowaway. Home. We can go home? Ooh. She's got leaves in her hair. There's like probably like 80. This is what's gonna happen. She's gonna turn around and there's gonna be birds in her hair, calling it now. She must have latched onto the undercarriage as you cross the ridge. Her manner is odd. Though you sense she means no harm. She must have overheard some of your fellow exiles' Stop. conversations. You need but say the word, Hedwin. Come on, you can't be serious, Jody. She's just some kid who managed to climb aboard our wagon undetected, but still. Do it, Jody. Jody approaches the girl and looms over her. Listen to me, girl. We cannot guarantee that you shall get home, or any of us. But, at present, we have room for you, and adequate provisions. You may accompany us for the time. Oh, okay, so Jody's suddenly a nice person. Well, uh, you know what? If I saw this side of you earlier, I might have felt less cucked about my fucking situation, and we'd all feel a bit more hopeful. You fuck. <sighs> Jody leaves without a waiting response, presumably to make room in the wagon for your new guest, the stowaway. Really? You're so kind. You are most kind to someone you just met like me. May the eight scribes smile upon you all. Some revere them as gods, believing they bound themselves to exile so that others could live for free. Oh, they're like Jesus. Centuries of oral tradition have shaped the history of the eight scribes into myth and legend. <laughs> ah! She claps her hands, bursts into laughter, and performs some sort of dance. Popper stares at all of this and leans in close to Hedwin. Hey, uh, so what gives? First the reader, now we're taking her along? What we gonna take in every might bit and drive imp we find in now, too? Easy, Popper. I think I'd want to- I'd, I'd want for us to bring this one along. Who, Sandalwood? The apparent name of some mysterious informant of Hedwin, Jody, and Popper. I thought you said he asked. We find someone to fit in every type of mask. Near as I can tell, yours would fit her just fine. Oh. So apparently, Sandalwood gave them all masks, but they had some left over. I'm guessing they it's because we're going to have more than just three people in a fight? He asked that we use our best judgment. Besides, we sent her away. She'll go telling anyone she finds about us. We can't risk that right now. So, uh, can I come in? It's very hot and I'm a little thirsty and a little tired, too. Yes, you're welcome here with us. One question, though. What do we call you? Well, this is embarrassing, I think, but I don't know for sure. It's just back home, they called me lots of names, like, for the color of my hair. They made fun of you just because you got gray hair? That's it! My name rhymes with gray! My name! My name! It... Oh, it's just... They called me lots of names. What rhymes with gray? Uh... Gray... Ray? Bay! Bay! Yo, we're gonna call her Bay! We're gonna get in with this chick. <laughs> So, so we're gonna bring Bay along. You sense the girl is struggling to recollect a certain name she felt best suited for her. <laughs> you think that you can help the stowaway girl make peace with her name? May, K, Fay, Day, Zay, Shay, and Ray. There are several other names ending in A, which you are aware of. Lay, Shay, Bay! Let's go! He suggests the stowaway girl's name is Bay. I love that they gave me this option. Vistalia. That's it, my name's Bay. They call me Bay. <laughs> Where I'm from, they call me Bay the Blood. Uh, that's a lot, lot less sweet. <laughs> 
obey the bloodless, but I guess maybe you don't have to say that part because I didn't really like it. You fellow exiles decide to bring Bay along for now. She almost collapses from exhaustion, so you take her in and show her some- Dude, we're gonna show her our memes! <laughs> She's gonna love the one where you replace the first letter of a word with the emoji letter B. She's gonna love that one. She's gonna love Nibba. Welcome her aboard. Welcome, Bay. We did it, boys. <laughs> Bay hype. Call her Rose. <laughs> the Black Wagon arrives in a somewhat peaceful stretch of Jomer Valley. Your companions wish to hole up here for the night to give Bay and all of you some time some rest. Consider your options. Let's go check out the wagon. What's good, Bay? Bay seems to be recovering well since you found her. She seems fascinated by everything and everyone in the wagon. Oh, hi, mister. You're the one who knew my name. You guessed right. You did. Thank you for your hospitality. I've just been eating with the imps and talking to the wagon. This wagon, he and I are the same age, almost the very day, but I am older by three weeks. So I'm giving him a hard time. Little brother, I call him. He's a good wagon, isn't he? He'll take us very, very far. Yo, Bay's fucking loony, dude. My little brother, sure. He pulls in my hair at some... Excuse me? It's a wagon. I don't like it very much, but he is fat. It's a w it's it's wood on wheels. I thought that I had lost them all again. I thought I Look, if you can just pick up anything and call it family, I I don't think you need to worry about losing anyone. It's cool, dude. We'll just go down to Costco and fucking make friends with the toilet paper. Oh, but we have stopped now, haven't we? Then I should go outside to dance in case the scribes are watching. Bye, mister. Smiling back at you, she prances out the door. Do we have a right update on the new guy? No, not just yet. Okay. Let's bounce. Alright, let's consider some options. Your fellow exiles are taking a moment to unwind. Jody mentions for you to join them. Best get used to your new life here, reader. We seldom get much moments of reprieve. Perhaps some further study of the book shall pass the time. You could join me for a little stroll if you're feeling up for it. Always something to be for forged Sorry, around here. Or you could teach us more of what you know. Prepare for the next rite. In any case, we do what we can to stay busy. Keeps a sense of isolation while it may. At certain junctures, you may choose from several vocations. Forage for resources. Search the surrounding area for valuables to add to your black wagon stash of goods. So I assume this means we also bond with the pupper. That's kind of cool. I like how it like becomes glassy. Studying private. Hone your skills as a reader to grant small bonuses to your fellow exiles during the rites. Mentor a companion. Teach your fellow exiles of the old ways to raise their individual ranks in the rites more quickly. Let's go have a forge for resources. Dung boulders. You sense something of value? Fossils remains of a giant beetle's giant heap of excrement do not ripen with age. Or titan bones. You sense a source of enlightenment here. So do we want money or enlightenment? Remnants of things gone long, which once walked and shaped the valley, yet remain old wisdom. I don't really want to forge around in shit, so let's check out the bones. Well, chum, had enough scrounging for one day. Usually there isn't much, but if you never look, you never get. And believe me, it adds up. Alright, so now we got the Black Bloom and Wisdom Trace. Grants an exile of a thousand enlightenment dragged to a talisman pocket to activate usable once. Okay. So how do I check my inventory? Is there an option for that? I don't know. Let's con let's continue the journey. Uh, the path leading further west splits off, and once again your fellow exiles turn the choice of where to go over to you. Bay seems enthusiastic for whichever route you choose. Glue Hive or Fall Flat? The northern route passes the remains of the Hive Titan. Bay believes those who travel this path shall be as strong as gold. Uh... Or you can be as swift as Jomer. Do we want speed or strength? Let's go for the speed. Bay is behaving stranger than usual as you traverse the rocky pathways of Fall Flat. This was the path of Jomer Mary Main. Ran, ac ran across so many, many times. Can you not feel his presence? Him and all his friends here in the sand and in the air and all about. 
At first you pay a little heed, though later you observe your fellow exiles seem to have more of a lightness in their step. Perhaps it was their previous day's rest that did everyone good. Your companions gained quickness! Hooray! That'll make up for the hopelessness. <laughs> Money. <laughs> En route to the Spring of Jomer, you hear all about the roving slug market, which appears to be nearby. Popper insists you take a look after you settle in. So we can go... maybe to the slug market and sell some things? Oh, we're here. Holy shit, it's actually a slug. Page revealed. Where you can trade your forged goods for things of greater value. What the fuck is this? It's an- it's like an old dwarf guy. He's got a slug in his hand, and he's also got slug eyes. And this guy's also got a slug eyes. These are sausages, and these are slug eyes. Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Greentail? Been a while and all that. Hey Ron, it, it's going. Say, how come you've set up shop all the way out here? Isn't this a little out of the way? Oh, well, let's just say you guys ain't my only customers. You see, Dad and I... Oh, that's that's Papa? You're gonna grow into that? I'm so sorry. See, Dad and I, we know his business is pretty good. We've been around the block, and so... As Ron keeps blathering, Papa signals you in a furtive way. Here's the deal, chum. Got an informant says there's something here connected to this rights business. See if you can spot it. Should be able to pawn off some of our stuff to make the trade. And don't even worry about Falcon Hall. So anyways, you got something for me? That black bloom you got there. I could take it off your paws if you want. Drag black bloom to Ron's stash. Proceed. You know, I'll take it, Mr. Greentail, though you drive a pretty hard bargain. Now you're gonna take something off my hands here or what? This thing sells for more than the black bloom did. So what are these? At the start of a right, the bear's pyre automatically gains 7 fire. When plunging into the adversary's pyre, the bear deals bonus damage of 2 while carrying the orb. Oh fuck yeah, hook me up. 200 gold?! After being banished by an adversary, the bear has a chance to return immediately. Oh, that sounds good. Hook me up. That's a one of a kind thing, stranger. You got there, you know, you got yourself a real good deal from me as well, so thanks. Right, Switch to the rooster, the roster to equip the talisman. Ugh. What did he mean, search for something? Do I have to just quick, like, randomly click around the shop? Did they, did they imply I have to look for something? In this store? Like, on the screen? I don't think so, right? No, I don't think so. Apparently, any one of us bozos can get a little edge out of that thing during the rites, I mean. And it's a question of who gets to try it out. Each of you fellow exiles may have a talisman equipped. Okay. Um. Okay, let's give this dude this. That'll level him up instantly. Cool. I think I'm gonna get to understand something of all this, friend. So we can level him up. Okay. Hadwin gains 50% more stamina, letting him jump and sprint more often. Or, his allies regenerate stamina twice as quickly as usual. While bearing the orb, his allies move and pass with the orb more quickly. They instantly return all banished allies by moving to where they fell. Hedwin jumps into airborne adversaries, he banishes them. When power casting, Hedwin's aura travels in a wider, longer line than usual. After Hedwin douses the adversaries, Pyre's Pyre requires covers. Hedwin causes his allies to remain banished for two seconds. Longer than usual. That sounds dope. Let's go with this one. Okay. So now we have. Where's our. Where's our. um? What's it called? Our item slots. How do I check? Okay, there we go. What's. Okay. So let's give. I don't know. Let's give this guy this. Why not? Anyways, Dad over here's feet, you know, I've been having trouble with his feet, getting real something or other from all the hoofing around, and so you see, Rookie indicates that now would be a good time to depart. So was there something we were meant to get from the store? Are there any pyre birds in this game? Hmm. See you, Mr. Greentail, and your friend there too. I like him. Seems real nice, you know. 
commence the right. Well, let's go to the wagon. Shall we? Oh, the book has a new chapter. Okay. The Last Emperor. In the words of Gol Golathanian, the Master General, how many nations did I scour in the name of Solium Mur? Wait, didn't we read this already? This is a different. Is this the same image? Wait, why was it a different picture then? You guys saw that, right? It was a different dude. What the fuck? Why was I lied to? Okay. Edwin motions for you to join him. While his manner is as easygoing as ever, you sense he is searching for the right words as he's about to say. You'd ask what I did to get thrown in here. Figured I'd tell you. The others know. I was on the blood border for several years. The northern edge of the Commonwealth is a flat and vulnerable expanse. The highway remnants seized upon it every opportunity from the cover of clouds or darkness. An outrider, no real rank, but a pretty important job whenever the harp swooped in was up for me to raise the alarm. A winged race. They are coarse as their feathers. They hold themselves superior. One day the harps came without warming. No alarm. It was a slaughter. So I heard. Because I wasn't there. I was. I was with one of them. Did you fuck a harpy? She looked. That's a story for another time. The point is, they branded me headwind. Holy shit, this guy got an honorary black heart. Holy shit, he sold out his fucking army. I didn't want to fight. I abandoned my post, my friends. They paid for it dearly. I ended up down here. Headwind looks at you as his smile reappears. It's not something I like to talk about, as you can tell, but I know that you've been wondering, and you deserve to know. I made a promise to you earlier when we first met that you'd go free as well. If any of us go free, that promise might not carry that much weight, I guess, coming from a deserter. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for hearing me out. There's not much good here on the downside, but at least the past is behind us. He leaves you there to consider his words. Ooh. 